Welcome to Applebrook Golf Club, site of the 120th Philadelphia Open Championship. We welcome our first professional to the final three, a Philadelphia PGA section star, Dave McNabb. McNabb, Applebrook's pro of the last 14 years, is a three-time senior section player of the year. He is a perennial open contender with a pair of top three finishes to his credit. Who better to give us a look at Applebrook? Let's welcome in Dave McNabb. One, two, three. We're gonna start on 16, long par five. There's a creek out there which is about 300 yards to carry, so that, uh, that makes it a little bit more of a decision-making process off the tee for sure. All right, well, we're gonna see how you can, you can navigate this hole. I'm not flying it over the creek, I can tell you that. <laughs> Neither would I. 260 to cover the creek. Yes. Guessing we're not gonna try to cover the creek right now. Unless you're gonna let me tee it up. <laughs> okay, so conservative play here, more positioning? Yeah, short of the bunker, right of the bunker, gives you a pretty good angle to access almost every hole location on the green. 116 yep. to the flag, middle hole location, thoughts? Uh, we've got a little bit of slope behind the green, so I got some room to work with. I'm just gonna hit a pretty stock 50 degree wedge, um, which is about a 118 to 120 club. Um, not a lot of trouble, quite frankly, to that whole location. So pretty straightforward shot. Let's talk about this green in particular. Mm -hmm. Looks like it slopes pretty severely from back to front. Back to front, right where, where we're at here is kind of right at the bottom of a slope. So if you get beyond this hole at all, it can be tough to control the ball. You've got kind of a back right shelf over there, which is a great hole location. You've got a little bit of a spine coming in here from the front. So if we put that hole location right in the middle, it kind of kicks balls right and left. And then you can tuck it back in this left corner behind the bunker. So makes for some pretty interesting approaches. 17th tee box, 179 from that marker. Yep. Uh, pretty hard par three. Yeah, challenging uphill tee shot um, to a pretty uh, demanding green complex. It's got a lot of movement in it. Uh, we can feel the wind today, is that typical? Yeah, a little right to left, sometimes slightly into you, but mainly right to left. Another big green complex. Mm -hmm. Again, kind of goes down back to front, but there looks like there's a little mound in the middle of the yeah, screen. Yeah, there's a spine that runs through the middle of the green and kind of bisects the back from the front. Um, pretty slippery putt if you're back here in the pins down front. The beauty of this green is you can kind of see it's ramped up over here on the left-hand side of the green. Any shots that get uh, left of this green will actually funnel onto the green and they'll, they'll run all the way down to the right side sometimes. Nice little backboard over there, Absolutely, huh? yep. One of the coolest finishing holes you'll see in Gap. Yeah, we're gonna hit driver. We're gonna try to get it down there as far as we can. Um, that bunker's not in play for me, but it could be for some of the longer guys in the field. You know, depending upon the hole location, we'd try to favor right center, left center, but you know, just hit a good tee shot right at the flagpole and see where that ends up. 151 from the sprinkler head right next to us. So then what's your strategy? So there's a little bit of a spine that kind of comes in the middle to right third of this green and the pin's actually right of that. So you actually need to take this whole location on. If you get left of the whole location too far, um, you're gonna have a putt up and over a slope. Um, could be a tricky putt to control speed. So this one you almost gotta go just left of the flag or right at it and you'll, you'll have a pretty good putt at it. All right, Dave. Fantastic shot here. We got four feet, three and a half feet-ish. Backstop to perfection. Yeah, it worked out in my favor, so you can certainly use that to your advantage. What's your take here, depending on where the hole location is? Yeah, so there's a lot of different things going on. We're standing right at the bottom of this little spine that kind of separates the right third from the uh, left third, or left two thirds, actually. You can kind of see there's a small bowl right there with a little slope going towards that. A lot of slope back to front, which is tough to really gauge, but there's a lot of movement, a lot of things going on here. Awesome, John. Thanks for your help today. Thank you. Thanks for taking part in the final three.